In this video, we will explain how discrete I.O. addressing is assigned to expansion modules in an XGB U-Type PLC. In the XGB PLCs, all discrete I.O. addressing is designated with the letter P. We will be looking at how the P addressing is assigned to expansion modules and how the discrete I.O. is addressed. The LS U-Type PLC can be configured with expansion modules for increased I.O. and enhanced functionality. In this example, we are using a 16 input, 16 output model configured with 10 expansion modules. A total of 10 expansion modules can be added to the U-Type PLC. Slot 2 is the first expansion slot in the U-Type configuration. Slot 1 is reserved for the internal functions within the U-Type PLC. The first discrete address is P-Word 8 bit 0 and the range is P-8 bit 0 through P-11 bit F. The last character in the P address is the bit in hexadecimal format. In the configuration shown with an 8-point relay module in slot 2, the discrete bit addresses are P-Word 8 bit 0 through P-8 bit 7. If an input module were installed in slot 2, the first input would also be P8 bit 0. Slots 3 through 8 are communication and analog modules. Although non-discrete modules, they are each allocated 64 bits of P data in the configuration. If the Ethernet module in slot 3 is replaced with a discrete output module, the P address range remains the same. The first discrete output in slot 3 will begin with a starting address of P12 bit 0. A 32-point digital output module is configured in slot 9. The starting address is P-Word 36 bit 0 and the range is P36 0 through P39F. The 32 output points are addressed P36 0 through P37F. Though every expansion module slot is allocated 64 bits, the physical addresses in each slot are dependent on the I.O. count of the discrete module. This concludes the explanation of expansion module addressing in an XGB U-Type PLC. For additional information related to the XGB PLC family of products, visit the links below.